The summit also seemed to have spawned a new generation of echo fanatics who were intent on appropriating the image of the Indian into their own vision of new age noble savages. Indian man is strong. Indian man knows what he wants. Indian man survived all these terrible things that happened for the last five, six hundred years. He is strong and he will survive. Loretta Bartel was a dance promoter who showed up uninvited to this conference of Indians. She was publicizing her group who called themselves Indio Alegre. Indian, a real Indian, is a very honest uh, person. He doesn't want any wars, he doesn't want any fights, he doesn't want to do any harm to anybody, right? There were others here not only interested in the image of the Indian, but in appropriating the causes behind which these societies had mobilized. And the Cherokee Tejas, you probably have well over eight million people, because my tribe alone, Atoyac, which is the name of a river in Texas, has about four million people. And this is in our computer. We have the names of the people. No, 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 yes. no, I don't know him. He was not invited, and I don't know in truth what this is all about. This question is something which would have been handled by the American Indian organizations. Can you explain to me your official status here? In this particular event, okay, I came as a guest lecturer to talk about the Cherokee Nation, our history, and the way we face the indigenous cause nowadays. We questioned him and he said he was from the Salagas Nation from Texas and we asked him how many people did he represent. He said there was 200, 300 people one group, 200 another group and 3 million in Texas. It made us suspicious because as far as we know there's maybe 1.8 million in the United States, maybe same in Canada. But we are very worried about individuals who represent nothing other than themselves because the main goal of our conference is to strengthen the legitimate organizations and the leaders who really fight for their people.